Hello, Michael here from Small Robot Studio with another quick tutorial on how to render ABC files in RenderMan 23. So with the RenderMan uh, plugin loaded, the first thing we want to do is go up to our RenderMan shelf, right click on the little box icon here, and we're going to import a GPU cache. Find your .abc file, uh, mine is already located in my project directory, and import it. The thing to note with um, ABC files is they will not change the size of your scene. You'll see that I don't have any verts, edges or faces loaded in the scene in spite of the fact that this, if it was an OBJ, would be somewhere in the millions of polygons. This asset was uh, exported from Houdini. If you are exporting from Houdini, something worth noticing is if you pack your primitives, um, you won't be able to load the per vertex color attribute that I'm going to lo uh, load here. Um, and this skill is available to patrons at the $5 tier, just in case you were wondering. Now we're going to load some lights into the scene so we can um, show a material on this. Okay, so with some lights in the scene, you'll see that we get our skull, um, the beaded skull, all loaded up here, but we don't have any visible textures. And in the Houdini file, we actually had um, some texture, uh, some color attributes to uh, assign to each individual bead there. So what we want to do is assign a RenderMan uh, texture to our ABC file, and you'll see it assigned here. We can go into the Hypershade editor and map that out and then to get our texture we need a pixar prim var and in its variable name we're going to change the variable name to capital c lowercase d that's the color attribute we're going to run the result rgb into the diffuse color and then we're going to change the variable type to a color now when we re render you'll see that we get the individual colors from our uh, beads. Now because our black beads are perfectly black, it's actually a good idea to introduce a little bit of specularity here and then that way we can actually see what's happening there when we render that out. ABC files can be a really useful um, way of helping your scene performance um, get up there if you're if you've got a very heavy scene it could be worth exporting some of your geometry as an ABC file and then re-importing it. Um, or if you're moving between DCCs like I did here between Houdini and uh, Maya. Um, there are a number of other ways that you can um, apply uh, attributes from outside DCCs, but uh, that's on a per use basis that you'll need to use that, use that. If you're interpreting material color and that sort of thing, you will generally be using a prim var. That's it for this tutorial. If you found it useful, make sure you leave a like so other people can find it. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe as we're bringing out CG and illustration tutorials every week, just like this one. Become a patron and access tutorial assets, bonus content, a private discord, and more by clicking the link below.